Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a sit down chit chat video. I thought maybe you could grab a cup of coffee or some tea and uh, get cozy and we're just gonna have a little talk about something that's been on my mind. I've been wanting to make this video for a very long time. It's been on my long list of videos I wanted to make and I've never gotten around to filming this one because I feel like it will make me come off like I'm complaining and that's not my intention behind filming this video. But I have been living in Italy for quite some time now and I wanted to share some of my more negative experiences or some of the challenges that I have faced from living here in Rome. I wanted to film this video, do you know why? I hate when people only show the highlight reel, when people only show the positive things and they, they have a way of making their life look perfect because I feel like I'm being lied to. <laughs> I really value honesty. When people only show the good or the exciting or the lovely, that's not real life. And so no one's life is that perfect. <laughs> so I wanted to do a video talking about some of the reality of living in a different country, of living in Italy. So if that interests you, go ahead and keep watching, get comfortable, and uh, let's get into the video. So before we jump right in to the challenges, I did want to mention some of the reasons that I love Italy. I'm choosing to live here, and again, my intention is not to be complaining because this is where I want to live. Some reasons why I love living in Italy is the relaxed pace of life. I love that. <laughs> It's very different than in America. In America, we are very career-driven, goal-oriented, and we can lose sight of relationships and uh, enjoying life. We never take vacations. We never take time off. We work extremely hard, and then on the weekends, we're exhausted, and we go right back to work the next day. And uh, In Italy, it's different. It's more relaxed. Relationships are important, and I really value that. Living in Rome, you are so spoiled with the history, oh my god, and the art, architecture, culture. It's just, you know, over 2,000 years old and it's like walking through the city is like time travel and you're so spoiled. Every corner you turn, you're in awe of something that happened there 2,000 years ago and People just live their life right in the middle of it, and I love that. I love language and Italian language. I think it's a really beautiful language, and also living in Europe, you're exposed to hearing all kinds of languages when you go out in the center, and I love that. It's like music to my ears, just hearing different people speak different languages. In America, you don't really get that unless you live in a big city, so. Of course, the food. <laughs> Italian food is amazing. Do I really need to go into that? I don't think so. And I have other videos on my channel where I talk about food. The food, it's great. <laughs> it's healthy, fresh, clean ingredients. You don't gain a lot of weight or feel disgusting after eating a big meal. It's cheaper. It's just delicious. Accessibility of travel within Europe. You can get on a cheap flight and go to another country, another city, in a matter of a few hours for very cheap. Also trains are very affordable and really fun. I love traveling by train. You're constantly seeing and hearing and learning new things. I love it cheaper costs of living. Relationships are very important and there's a sense of community even in a city. Rome feels like a small town because there's no skyscrapers and people in your neighborhood will get to know you and it will feel like a little community. I obviously have a really long list of things that I love about living here, but the last one I'll include in this video is I feel safer here. There's something about America recently with uh, all of the public shootings and stabbings and just violence that doesn't happen here. So I do feel safer living in Rome than I do in the States. 
By the way, I didn't just not clean up before I started filming. She was supposed to be sitting there the whole time, but she moved to the other side. She walked like four miles this morning and she's tired. Yeah, go to sleep, honey. I think filming this video is good timing for me because if I'm being honest with you guys, I have been having quite a hard time lately. The past few weeks I've just been feeling really alone and it's uh, it's been challenging. I posted last week in the community tab here on YouTube that I was sitting alone on a train crying and a lot of you commented on that and were very encouraging so thank you but I wanted to touch on that. I just thought it would be a good time to film this video, talk about why I've been struggling for a few weeks. So I'm a very sensitive person. I don't really have thick skin and I take things personally. <laughs> and when I'm tired, it gets even worse and I just cry really easily, especially when I get frustrated or angry. I My reaction is to cry. I just, I'm an easy crier. <laughs> also, I come from a country where literally everyone is offended at everything and we are so coddled and like customer service is another level <laughs> in the states so when you go to a country where customer service isn't as high of a priority it can sometimes be quite the adjustment when you're in a store and people are just rude to you for no apparent reason so let's jump into some of the challenges with that. I also wanted to preface that this is my experience living in Rome. Rome is a capital city and as many capital cities are, they are different. They're more chaotic, they have more problems, more issues, more people. And so it's a different experience than it would be if I lived in a smaller town or a smaller city. Anywhere other than Rome, it would be a different experience. So maybe people in Rome are a little bit more rough and a little bit more used to tourists and that's understandable. So it's not my experience in Italy as a huge generalization. This is my experience of Rome. So something that bothers me daily <laughs> in Rome is that no matter how fluent I get, how confident I walk into a store, it's not like they treat me just like a dumb tourist. It's like they they treat me like a foreigner that they don't even want in their country. They are annoyed that I'm even there and they are so rude. So they will refuse to speak to me in Italian or if they're not comfortable with English, they will refuse to speak to me at all, or they will shout at me in English <laughs> like I'm a stupid foreigner. I think I'm just gonna say it because I don't know how to lead into it, but I think that Italians can be quite racist or just show a strong dislike of foreigners. Hi, so I'm editing and I'm realizing that I'm speaking as if this is everyone in Italy. That's not true. That's a huge generalization. Um, and this is a sensitive topic, but I think that racism exists in every country in the world. It's not just Italy. So I wanted to acknowledge that, that this exists everywhere. It's not just Italy. And it's not every Italian, obviously. So I just wanted to say that. I have many black friends who have said that they have had terrible experiences in Italy with racism and I have had experiences of, I, I don't know if it's racism or just them hating foreigners, but even in the building where I live I've experienced this. I walked past a woman and said buongiorno to her and she rolled her eyes and turned to the person she was talking with and said stranieri which means foreigners, and I live there. So <laughs> it's hard to not feel um, unwelcome, even though I'm trying my very best to speak Italian and to assimilate into their culture. Some of them just don't want me here. So this video could probably go on and on and on forever. So I'm just gonna like wrap it up because there's a lot of issues. The, one of them would be immigration. It's a pain in the butt 
to go through immigration processes here. It takes forever. It's very disorganized. They don't communicate. They don't answer the phone. They don't respond to emails. It takes months and months and months to get your documents. I have been here for over a year and I still don't have my documents. I'm still in the process of getting my documents. So immigration is a huge pain in the butt and god they're so rude everyone who works at the immigration office it's horrible to have to go down there because they're so rude another thing is the language barrier it exists i need help with a lot i'm doing pretty good with my italian but i still need a lot of help so if you move here and you're not fluent you need to have friends or family who can help translate help you with the randomness of things because you're gonna need a lot of help for me, it's the lack of independence. It's been quite challenging. I don't have a vehicle and I'm living outside of Rome, so there's not really good public transportation. And I feel like I have to ask for help for everything. Like I have to ask to go to the grocery store. I have to ask to go to the pharmacy. Like if I need anything, I have to ask somebody to drive me. And I hate feeling that codependent on other people. I'm used to having my own car and being an adult. Another small thing that's like not a big deal at all but it is kind of annoying is that even to do the laundry it's inconvenient because you have to wait until a sunny day to do your laundry. We don't really have dryers here. A lot of people don't have them. It's just like it's normal to hang your clothes to dry and if it's raining you can't do your laundry. <laughs> Last week I ran out of all my clothes I didn't have any clothes and it was raining and I just like had to stay inside in my underwear because I didn't have anything to wear. So <laughs> other things that are difficult is finding a job. Really difficult. Even for Italians it's really difficult to find a job. Making friends as a foreigner, as an adult, it's really hard. The general feeling of like, I don't belong here and this is not my home. The chaos, the transportation strikes. It's disorganized, there's garbage everywhere. Dealing with being stared at because you look different or being grabbed on public transportation because that happens to me a lot. Being harassed everywhere in the center. It's become very touristy, very touristy and I look like a tourist, so just being harassed. And also people are just rude. <laughs> but again, that's Rome, it's the capital city. It's like that everywhere in a big city, so it's not unique only to Rome. But I really wanted to make a video where I talk about both sides because that's real life, right? You're not going to just move to a foreign city and everything is going to be beautiful and perfect and like a movie. It's not going to happen. Maybe in the beginning it will feel so exciting and exotic, but after a while it won't feel like that anymore and real life will set in and you'll notice that it can be challenging. You might feel a bit homesick or just like have this longing for the familiar or just want a break from it all. And that's normal, totally normal. Again, I feel like I could keep talking about this topic on and on all day long and uh, just ramble forever, but I'm going to stop myself here. <laughs> I would love to hear from you guys please leave your thoughts in the comments down below and we can continue this conversation there. I really would love to talk to you about this. As I said, I've been struggling the past few weeks with just feeling alone, feeling tired of everything, feeling so hard, and um, yeah, just wanting the familiar, wanting the language barrier to not be so hard, wanting more independence and everything I mentioned. So. Yeah, I look forward to hearing from you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao friends.